Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Noor and this is Noor Design Channel. In this video, we're gonna learn how to make this amazing advertising design using Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's dig into business. The first thing we're gonna make obviously is we're gonna make a new file. So click file from the above and click new. And as you can see, you can choose the width and height as 1200. This is a good size for social media and both for an Instagram and Facebook advertising design. So here we have a blank piece of paper. What we're gonna do first is to bring our product. This is our product as an example. If you have any product, you can make the same process on it. So we have this beautiful Nike shoes. We're gonna drag it and drop it into the Photoshop. And obviously the product has a background. So we need to firstly extract the product from the background. How we gonna do this is by the pen tool. Yeah, as you have guessed, the pen tool is the best tool to extract products precisely and accurately from the background. So we're gonna click here and trace the product with the pen tool and I will speed the process assuming that you know everything about the pen tool. Okay, that sounds cool. Now we have created a pass with the pen tool to our product. And then what we are going to do is to create a mask to extract the product from the background. What we will do is click right click and make selection and then press OK. Then we will create a mask by clicking into this beautiful icon at the bottom. Click here and there you go, you have the product selected. Now, obviously you have the background white and so boring. What we will do now is to create this background and we will not make a huge effort choosing our color palette. We will just pick it from the colors of the shoes. So we will get these two beautiful colors. They are matching with each other and they look beautiful and clean. We will choose these colors by clicking into the brush and then click Alt and choose the first color. We can choose this color, I guess. And then we have these two beautiful colors selected. So what we want to do now is to create a gradient with these two colors. We will create first a new layer from here and then drag it at the bottom. And from the gradient tool, we will just drag here. As you can see, the two cars are so matching with each other and they are also matching with the product itself. And here is a bonus tab. If you want to select colors and you don't know how to select them, the best color for your background, you can always choose the colors from the product itself and it will definitely work. So we will select our product uh, layer and then press Ctrl T and just rotate it a bit to make some half motion because it was so static and boring like this and then press OK. What we're gonna do now is to create a light source and a shadow. How can we do this? Firstly, we're gonna make a new layer and selecting the brush, we will choose the white color and press OK. And with the soft rounded brush, we will just press one click like this. Then we will change the blending mode to overlay. This will blend the white layer into some sort of light source as you can see here and we can make it a bit bigger and that would be awesome okay and the next thing if there is a light somewhere then there should be a shadow somewhere so here is the light source and here is our product so we have to have a shadow right here here we want to create a smooth shadow and realistic one how can we do this the first thing is to select our product layer and press ctrl j this will duplicate the layer and double click into the layer and choose color overlay and then change the color to this color the same as the background color but just a bit darker because as you know there is no completely black 
color in reality. So we will choose this color, I guess, for the shadow. Press OK and press OK. And then press Ctrl T and right click and flip vertical. This will create the illusion of the shadow and press enter. And then we will drag this layer at the bottom. We will make sure that the layer of the shadow will just touch the layer of the product and it should be somehow like this. At this part, you need to um, put your imagination into work because this depends on how can you imagine the shadows it is coming from the light is coming from the top and the shadows should be uh, like this i guess but there is a problem here the shadows look so bad and sharp how can we make these shadows as realistic as we can we will do this by using a filter from filter and blur gallery and tilt shift and just rotate the tilt shift from here drag this point this filter will create a blur into our layer but it will be somehow gradient blur so the sharpest point will be here and it will gradiently uh, be blurred from this point to this line I will increase the effect so that you understand my point and as you can see here if you make it far away from the point it will be more blurry and if we make it closer to the point it will be sharper great I guess this is better and then press ok ok we will drag the layer and pot it right here that is perfect okay it's not realistic yet so what we're going to do is to just erase this part so press right click and convert to smart object so that you can apply a new mask and erase this part with a brush soft rounded brush and adjust the flow for about 30 percent and with the black color just try to erase this part there we go we have now a somehow sort of realistic shadow and if you don't like it you can just uh, decrease the opacity and this is up to you okay that sounds perfect next we are gonna make a reflection into the surface first we will select the brush and select the soft rounded brush and change in the shape of the brush like this make it very thin and then create a new layer and then click here and just drag the mouse like this perfect we will do the same effect into the top and there you go there you have some sort of reflection into the surface then we will duplicate the layer by clicking ctrl j from the keyboard and press ctrl t to flip it into the other direction and click flip horizontal and just drag it and pot it here press enter and then we will change the blending mode of these two layers into overlay look at this this is so cool looking i'll just drag these two layers into the bottom and there we go we have the product into our scene and we can just make it a bit bigger there we go like this perfect what we're gonna do next is to darkening the edges so that the focus will be into the product how can we do this we will just create a solid color layer from here and make it black and then change the blending mode into overlay and then click ctrl i to invert the mask and with a soft rounded brush with the white color we will darkening the edges there you go if you don't like it we can make it just soft light and decrease the opacity like this now this sounds perfect 
Okay, the next thing is we're gonna put the key message into our design from the type tool. We will just type relax. This is our message. And then control T and just make it bigger like this. This sounds perfect. Okay, I believe we can make it all caps like this. This is perfect. And then you can put the logo and the, any other message that you need. This will be depending into the product itself. So let me know guys in the comments if you like the tutorial. And if you do, please hit the like button and the subscribe. And I'll see you into the next one. Peace.